Welcome in, Matt here, and in this very short video, I wanna show you the easiest linear drum beat, plus a couple of ways we can have fun with it. So what is linear? Well, quite often when we play, we layer things up. We're playing more than one thing at the same time. But when we play in a linear style, we're only ever playing one thing at a time. Now you can take this to more complex levels like 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover with Steve Gadd on drums. And just before it all minges, it's not 100% linear, but it's based on a linear groove. But that's quite a complex one. What we're gonna do today is look at a very simple, accessible one. So if you've never done linear before, you'll be able to learn this in about two minutes. You'll be able to get playing with it. There's even a track. You can download the sheet music for this lesson and the play along track through the link around this video. And you can get creative with this. So let's do it. Okay, so here we are, the easiest linear drum beat in the world. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna take the kind of Billie Jean beat, the most, you know, or Back in Black, ACDC, the most basic drum beat, and we're just gonna remove the hi-hat that we would normally play along with the bass and also with the snare. So we're just gonna take that, that, that hi-hat away on the downbeat and therefore the hi-hat is only on the and. So checking it out on the sheet music there, it's just gonna go bass, hi-hat, snare, hi-hat, and then it repeats. Now this gives it a nice kind of offbeat feel. So straight away, if you were to play this beat instead of the kind of Billie Jean style one, you might influence other band members. So like the guitarist might start playing on the upbeat and suddenly it's got a sort of reggae vibe. So, you know, you can influence other people by taking things out such as this hi-hat. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so in this next one, I just want to show you a little embellishment of this, and then I'm going to show you Phil, and that's it for today. So in this embellishment, we're going to add an extra hi-hat. So now instead of going one and two and, we're going to go one and a two and. So we've got these two six deep notes, one and a two and. Now at a slow speed, you might want to play both those hi-hats with your right hand, but at faster speed, you might like to bring both hands up to the hat and play a right left. Okay, and this final little thing I wanna show you is just a drum feel. Um, and all we're gonna do, we're gonna move the right hand from the hi-hat onto toms. So we still have that bass drum on the first beat. We still have that back beat on the snare. So that, so that allows this to be a feel, but still maintain the groove, right? So we're just gonna play toms in those holes on the ands between the bass and snares. Okay, so look, there's a really simple beat and there's an embellishment on the beat and there's some fill ideas and you know, you could get creative around those. This is just a couple of small ideas, but you could play the fill thing on different toms. You could have more 16s. There's a whole load of stuff you can do with this. And just because you're playing linear, it doesn't mean you have to be 100% linear, like Steve Gadd on 50 Ways. It's not 100% linear, but it's based on the linear idea. But you can just be free and have fun with it. So I'm just gonna jam around with this track a little bit now. And if you want to grab the track um, and the full notation for this, you can grab it for free in the link and you can get creative with this as well.
right guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from Toto Drummer and grab all the free stuff, the notation and the backing track in the link below.